give me attention and follow my use of words. There are things. Paul is not just, he didn't mention ideas. He talked about things. There is a concreteness to that language. There is a tangibility to that language. And he says, these things we speak, and these things that we speak, they can be received. So that there is a way that while you are hearing, you are receiving. But it's not everybody that hears that receives. Because the natural man, as that scripture goes on, it says the natural man receiveth not the things of God. It does not mean that the natural man cannot hear the things of God. If there is a natural man here in context and the things of God are being spoken, the natural man will hear, but it does not mean the natural man will receive because things, even though they can be taught, are not simply taught to be simply heard. The idea is that the hearer enters into possession of the things that are heard because the things that are heard are things. They are not just ideas. I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, that God intends to transfer materiality, things that have concreteness, things that are tangible, but in the wisdom of God, God can Transfer the tangible via the intangible. That words can be means of transferring tangible content. That you can hear something and something actually enters you. That you can hear something and in hearing something, things enter into you. But there are people that when they heard something... All that happened was that they heard. There was no actual transference. There was no transmission. And I'm saying that when God was trying to funnel the visible world into existence, God funneled it into existence by an intangibility. That is the ministry of speaking. And God said, and the moment God said, let there be, let there be. The Bible says, and it was so. And there was. Let there be, and it was so. And there was. So that if you were standing by and you were blind and you were present where God was speaking, you only heard words. But if you had eyes, you would realize that the words were means of funneling things into being. The first time that language was spoken in recorded history, it was not for communication. It was for creation. And God said, let there be light. The Bible said, and there was light. You will ask yourself, just like that? Yes. Because so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. 